Okay, in this video I'm going to show how to create a for statement or a for loop to go through every single item in the combo box that way you can read the value that's in there and maybe execute some code if a certain string is found. So let me show you a real quick example. Go to insert and I'm going to select an ActiveX control the command button and I'll just call this search. And like in a previous example, you could use an input box to ask the user what item do you want to search for. In this case, I'm just going to show you how to create a for loop. And if the text is test three, then to then to show another message box. So check this out. So we'll do a design mode search. Double click it. We're in the Visual Basic environment. Put some code here for rep for repetition equals, and we'll put zero. That, because that's the starting point of the combo box. Two, sheet one dot combo box one dot list count minus one. And the only reason why we're putting in the minus one is to account for the, the starting index as being zero. So as an example, if you were to have three items in your combo box, the first item is going to start with list index zero. It would be list index zero one and two for the three items so all that is would be the combo box list count three minus one would be two so the repetition is zero to two and then next rep all we're doing is closing the for loop after closing the rep statement let me show what we're going to do we're going to do message box sheet one dot combo box one dot list open parentheses we're gonna put the list index number which in this case would be rep and let's play this code search so it gives test one test two test three test four test five went through every single item in here now what you can do you can put current value in review equals and then the sheet one, comma box one dot list, and then the the rep. We can create an if statement inside the for loop. If the current value in review is equal to test three, then we can put message box. We found test three in the combo box, and we'll do an exit sub. And if all this right here is our if statement, so. While it's going through the combo box, if test three is found, we're gonna do a, it's gonna display this message. We found test three in the combo box, and then it's gonna actually exit the entire function. It won't continue with the for loop. And let's try this out. Hit search, and it says we found test three in the combo box. Now, if I was to remove this item, we now have test one, two, four, and five. I'm gonna hit search again, and nothing came up because test three is no longer in the combo box. That concludes this portion of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you. That concludes this portion of the video. Thank you for watching.